Hello friends, how are you? This is Dr. Shinagi, Ayurvedan medicine doctor and also Isha Hatha yoga teacher. So today in this video we are going to talk about the various rejuvenation therapies and techniques that are mentioned in Ayurveda for your eye health care. In Ayurveda there are two kinds of care that, that has been mentioned. One is care with your lifestyle, what you eat, how you live, what are the do's and don'ts, what you should eat, what you should not eat. One is this way according to your doshas and another type of care is the generalized preventive care which is useful for everyone. So that includes first thing is like once you get up in the morning and you have not done just like you are rubbing your eyes and you went to bathroom. So first thing is don't rub your eyes just open them little bit. Go to your washroom stand in front of wash basin then take the water and fill your mouth with water or um, if you don't have very good water there you can put some copper pot or any generalized water even wash basin if you have good water like from the ground that is known as ground water or uh, very chemical free water if you have then you fill the mouth with water and like like this and then just splash the water in your eyes just like this you need to splash like the process uh, how it will look like And while splashing water you will see like I was trying to open my eyes little little like this like this. This is very very beneficial for the very minute eye muscles you know. Eye muscles are present in the eyes these, these are the outside things like orbit you can say you know there is a orbit and that your eyelids are here is your eyelids here is your uh, eyelash sclera, cornea, everything is there but how to wash eyes you know uh, most of us never wash eyes because the water just like this if you put water it's not good for eyes but when you try to splash water in the eyes it's a natural tendency of the eye that it, there will be tendency that it will close as as she uh, eye sees like some water is coming it's a natural tendency of the eye to uh, go to the closure. So, but little bit water goes into the eyes and now some people are also saying okay no don't we can't we do this like we will pull the eye like this and splash water in this no this kind of process will harm your eye. But the way I am saying is showing you like this little bit water will enter in your eyes and cleanse your eyes. This is very very beneficial for the health of your eyes. You can also use some herbal water uh, if you your water is very containing toxins like a um, lot of chemicals are there in your drinking water a lot of uh, this uh, chlorine is there then I am not recommending this but if you have good quality water so this is the first thing that you can do in the morning it is very very beneficial to enhancing your uh, vision and eye health. So uh, and moreover the muscles the small muscles that are present in the eye that is responsible for this this kind of rotation. So it is very very beneficial for overall general health of the eye. In addition to that there are certain eye exercises that we all know like look like look, uh, look left look up look down. These kind of things are very beneficial to exercise the very small muscles you know there are two top muscles for the upper rotation of the eyes there are muscles for the lower rotation of the eyes for the muscles for the right rotation of eyes and there are muscles from the uh, left rotation of eyes. So it's very very beneficial if you do certain exercises for eyes just to make the health of these muscles good. So it will it will just take two or I think more than less than one minute to do these exercises. So these are the two things which you can do from outside. After that what is what is the Ayurveda thing that you can use for the health of your eyes. First thing is Ayurveda pays a lot of attention to your uh, lifestyle how you live what you eat what you don't eat what is your prakriti what is the di eye disease that you have let's suppose if you have some eye disease like blepharitis if you have sty you have or uh, some kind of sclera, uh, sclera infection you have or some 
conjunctivitis you have, conjunctiva is inflamed and um, uh, there are various kind of diseases actually in Ayurveda 70 kind of eye diseases have been mentioned and the treatment is according to the dosha, dosha means not out of your body constitution but the disease that you have which dosha is involved in that disease let's suppose if you have blephritis what kind of blephritis you have it is more of uh, kapha dosha involvement is there pitta dosha involvement is there what what is the dosha involvement in that so accordingly your lifestyle uh, will be changed if you have some eye disease means infective eye disease according to that ayurveda will suggest your lifestyle and if you try to adopt that lifestyle, it will help you to heal your infection more fast. So this is first thing. Now another thing comes, now what are the other things that we can do to day to day uh, care for our eyes. So in Ayurveda there is mentioned of Anjana. Anjana means application you can also understand is application of kajal, not artificial kajal but herbal uh, that kajal which is made with ghee and with herbal products that kind of kajal or various kind of uh, herbs uh, that are the uh, various kind of ointments are there that is only designed for eyes for the application uh, and its application with some silver string or like the uh, this finger without uh, big nail. So you, you retract the eyelid and you can apply the anjana. So this anjana also helps uh, your eye to protect it, uh, to keep its vision good. But once vision goes bad, what to do then? Then there are two things, either you focus on your lifestyle and see what problem exactly in your eye and accordingly you need to do the lifestyle. Regarding eyes, I have created a lot of videos, so you can go through my channel also, uh, like how short sightedness, long sightedness and how, what are the various eye care measures that we need to take care. So you, you can go through my channel and watch those eye videos. Here I am just going to tell you about the prevention uh, part. So Anjana therapy is there in Ayurveda, according to your disease, according to your eye problem, you can take the Anjana therapy or their simple application of kajal, this is first thing. Another thing is nasya. Nasya means uh, some ointment, some oil we will put through a nose, uh, the application of oil. There are various kind of nasyas designed for the eye uh, care and for the overall well-being of E and T, ear, nose, throat. These are known as nasya. These are very, very beneficial. So second uh, thing that you can do is application of nasya. Nasya means uh, oiling through the nostrils. Next thing is what is the best Rasayana? Rasayana means the rejuvenating thing for eyes that is Trifala. Trifala Churna is known as the best rejuvenation for your eyes. And uh, Trifala if it is of organic origin, it is a combination of three fruits and uh, you need to take it empty stomach with lukewarm water. It it works as a rejuvenation and strengthening for your eyes, for your hair, overall immunity but it is just a good tonic for your eyes. Regular use of Trifla will cleanse and nourish your eyes in a very big way. In addition to that, it is also been mentioned like if there is a very bright sun, very huge bright sun is there then do not expose your eyes to such bright sun. Uh, that is also not recommended in Ayurveda. Next thing is which is not recommended excess exposure to wind and like when it is very much like snowy wind is blowing that time also you should not expose your eyes to such atmosphere or too much dust is there when it is a common sense but sometimes we forget like lot of dust is coming and we are just walking we should always uh, take a stop somewhere whenever there is excess dust in the air you just uh, sit, let the this uh, dusty cyclone stop and then only move no need to walk during the storm or cyclone and you just go inside some buildings when this dust is storm or these things are happening now these things are the all right like whatever you have mentioned but what about we already have low uh, eyesight and we already have problem within our eyes. So in Ayurveda there is a process known as Tarpan Karma, Tarpan Therapy or Eye Therapy with in Usme what happens in that. 
So, their treatment in tarpana of eyes that is also known as eye tarpana with the ghee, original ghee and uh, there is some kind of floor that we use uh, like we will create a wall around the eye with the floor and we put ghee after in spine position after lying we make patient lie down and above that uh, we make a uh, some wall of floor over here and we put ghee over it and then we ask patient to gently open eyes and close gently open eyes and close so, if the refractive error is because of excess vata dosha, I mean dryness of eyes there, excess vata dosha, if the excess vata dosha is the reason, then with this ghee therapy, the, this tarpana karam, that is also known as tarpan karam, uh, your eye will get very good results. And many times it has been seen like those who have short sightedness of eyes or this, it is because of excess indulgence of eyes especially those who are sitting in front of screen and uh, those people who are very intensely doing something. So, if this problem is with uh, is if you also have the problem with eyes, so this tarpana therapy is also recommended. Now, can we do tarpana at home by ourselves? No, it is not been recommended like this. You need to go to visit a doctor and he will check your eye, diagnose like what is the problem with the eye it is not like some kind of um, food that everybody can try it is not like that it is you need to have proper diagnosis proper uh, place where you can do this tarpan karma and then only you will be able to get some results and self practice it is not recommended for you because self practice can cause some damage to you it should be always done under a experienced Ayurveda doctor. Because before doing this therapy, proper checkup of the eye is needed. In addition to that, general lifestyle recommendations as you know like uh, eat in the morning, have your dinners before sunset, uh, add a lot of fruits in your diet, a lot of salads in your diet, increase the intake of carrots, uh, try to have more freshly cooked and organic food, try to avoid the tinned canned packed food. Overuse of spices is not recommended if it is pitta related disorder in eye like some pustules or something or burning sensation is there. So and sometimes also this happen like some systemic disease also cause burning sensation in the eyes. So if this is the case then you need to treat the systemic disease and your eyes will naturally become normal and healthy. So that is all for today's video thank you so much for watching and if you are watching me for the first time there is a bell icon there is a subscription button please click the bell icon hit the subscription button so that you stay in tune with our upcoming videos. Also if you would like to support us there is a join button near subscription button you can click this join button and you can support us. Those of you who want Ayurveda consultations please write to me on this given email id and I will let you know how we can schedule it. If you have any questions please write down those questions in the comment section. I will try to answer your questions in the best possible way. So with this note I would like to say stay healthy, stay blessed, take care, bye.